Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through what to do if your screen freezes or your touch screen is unresponsive on the Google Pixel 6 and Google Pixel 6 Pro. So let's say right now, my screen was not responding to my touch at all. How do I restart my phone to try to fix this problem? Well, here's what we do. We're going to hold down on the power button on the right here and the volume up button. And we're gonna hold it until the screen goes dark. Okay, power, volume up. Hold it, you're gonna see this screen pop up. Just continue to hold the buttons. And what we're doing here is called a soft reset. And it's very similar to older phones. Oh, there we go, screen is dark, let it go and give it a second. So what we're doing is mimicking the process of like taking the battery out of a phone and then putting it back in. Obviously the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, you can't take the battery out anymore. So that's why they have this button command called a soft reset that basically will restart your phone for you. And in most cases, if your screen is not responsive, this will allow the uh, software to reset itself and then um, you should be able to then use the screen. And there we go. So that is called, a, again, a soft reset and it's very harmless, uh, doesn't erase any of your files. It literally just um, restarts the phone um, to fix any issues you may have. Now, if once your phone has restarted, it's the touchscreen is still not working, that means you may have a bigger problem at play and you might need to take your phone to a local repair shop to have them diagnose the phone and see is there actually an issue with your touchscreen panel? Does your screen need to be replaced? And if so, you may need to then look into those options. I would also encourage you to reach out to Google directly to see um, how they can assist you if your phone is still in your warranty and if there is no physical damage to the screen, if it is just unresponsive, you, that might be something that would fall under a manufacturer defect. So try reaching out to Google as well. If that information was helpful, don't, for, don't forget about us. Hit that like button. Make sure you favorite the video and share it. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care, and as always, have a good one.